Yo everyone, what's going on? Oli Rodriguez Stolman here and we have been blessed with a brand new Logic track called Vaccine. And in this video I wanted to just give my overall thoughts on it as well as like what I'm expecting from Bobby Tarantino 3. Before we do that though, I just want to add in here that if you do enjoy this content then make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps a lot and helps push things into the algorithm and whatnot. So if you can do that, that'd be great. But Let's get into it and talk about Bobby Tarantino 3 and the song Vaccine. Now the song Vaccine itself, on my first listen, I wasn't too sure what to expect, but I've listened to it a few times now and I actually really do like the song. I feel like there's this massive balance Logic is going to try and do on this project where it's going to be really catchy hooks with incredible lyricism in the verse and this is actually what Confessions of a Dangerous Mind was trying to do and that's the impression that I'm given from this one song. I feel like this entire mixtape, because it's a Bobby, Bobby Tarantino thing obviously, it's going to be a mixtape, like I feel like this whole thing is basically going to be what Confessions of a Dangerous Mind was supposed to be, where you have these great hooks and then these great verses and Logic put out a tweet, this one I think it's something like, something like Real raps, but fun tracks, something like that. He says it right there. I, I can't remember it right now, but I feel like that's a more accurate like description of what this is gonna be. I really like the beat of that scene. It felt really like nice, flowed well, and just logic. Just like the verses felt very short in it, but what he actually says in them is quite a lot. The main thing he actually confirms in it is this is Bobby Tarantino 3 and I've got a weird feeling that the song intro that we got isn't for this project. I wouldn't be surprised if it was for this project but I don't think it is. I feel like that's for something else. Just to kind of like confirm that he's out of retirement in that song whereas this is actually now setting up the Bobby Tarantino stuff and also to cover for it it reminds me a lot of the Confession of a Dangerous Mind stuff which in case you don't know that was actually like supposed to be a kind of slash hybrid of Bobby Tarantino and like under pressure style logic but that's what I feel like we're about to get for Bobby Tarantino 3 instead because I personally loved like Confession of the Dangerous Mind but it wasn't what I thought logic was going for but I feel like he's given the right approach for this where he said he's essentially just doing this for fun now and it's just like he's gonna be real with his raps he's gonna have fun with making songs and that's what we need it's not just him coming out and saying like he's got something to prove or something like that he's proved that in no pressure this is him coming back just having fun and for me I love both of the Bobby Tarantino mixtapes don't really prefer one than the other I think they're both on the same level in my opinion but I'm excited that there's actually gonna be a trilogy to this so so Bobby Tarantino 3 is on the way and I'm fucking ecstatic. Vaccine, maybe not one of my favourite Logic songs of all time, but it's a really good single to sort of set up what's coming, I think. And whilst we're here, I was, I basically filmed the intro to the video, but I was going to do a separate video on the Young Sinatra collection, but I didn't really have too much to say that would suit its own video. I just wanted to say that it's great that we got those songs on that collection. I was quite surprised that you got all I do on there, but I thought that was like a really good necessity one. Tokyo Nights, I did like as a like unreleased song that's now released sort of thing, and it was nice to have that there within that project as a release or whatnot. I just felt like I would have liked a bit more logic on that track, not that like had a bad verse or anything or didn't suit the track, it was perfect for the track and really did a really good like verse on there. It was just that for a two minute track that was unreleased, I was kind of expecting a bit more logic at the same time. And obviously Logic's talked about since then how he was actually the Sinatra estate, said they would be honored to have a featuring Frank Sinatra thing on there, so I feel like that's a massive deal for Bobby to actually have. Yeah, even I got that Frank Sinatra feature. Yeah, that was that was one thing I was gonna ask. So like, they cleared, his estate, his people, his estate said you had to put they, featuring. No, Frank they Sinatra. were like, we would be honored oh, to, oh, if you wow. actually featured Frank Sinatra. And I oh, was like, awesome! Yeah. When I was thirty-one. Wow. Has it really been ten years? And overall, for the project, it's just great that there's now some of the Sinatra songs actually on. Spotify, I feel like obviously the whole clearance thing is a bit annoying because you can't get all the songs you want on there and I was a bit disappointed that there wasn't actually at least one of the Young Sinatra songs and by that I mean like Young Sinatra 1, 2 or 3, none of them were on there but that kind of is what it is. I think personally for me one of the songs I would love to hear on there is Dear God but obviously this is the volume one so obviously Logic has also come out and said that in the future there will probably be like more volumes when he can get things cleared. Either way I'm looking forward to Bobby Tarantino 3, it should be a good project. I feel like there's going to be a lot of really good raps in there. I feel like there's going to be a lot of catchy hooks as well. And I'm really excited to see what comes out of it. I feel like there could be another. This is just me, my prediction as well. There could be. Oh shit, didn't Logic... Oh, I just literally remember there was a clip Logic. There was something Logic said on his stream where he was saying that he was going to make... Like, there's always been this thing of like a third foot 44 bars 
type song. I think originally there was one called 88 Bars, which turned into one of the songs, I think it was actually five hooks on um, No Pressure, might have been that, might be wrong. But he did mention somewhere on stream where he basically said he was thinking about doing one called 40 Forever or something like that, 40 Forever. Yeah, I think 40 Forever or something like that is what he might call it, and I reckon that could actually be on the project, and I would love to see a song like that. I got this idea to start writing a song called 40 Forever. That's hard. Wouldn't that be dope? Yeah. And just rap. And obviously if you're doing a trilogy, I think having that 44 thing, like, going throughout all three mix states would be a sick way to do that. But anyway guys, I've talked about my opinions long enough. Let me know about your opinions down in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation with you about Logic and Bobby Tarantino 3. Is intro part of this whole project? I don't think so, but what do you think about that? Let me know in the comments and anyway, I'll see you in the next video, which will be coming out pretty soon. So take care, until then, peace. Love and positivity. Yeah, you link it into logic. Later. You want this too bad. You need this too bad. Don't wanna work hard or too bad. Be remembered, you can't. Oh shit, want a milli? Too bad. Want a mustache? Too bad. Want a big